you want to buy a 3D printer, but when you start looking, it gets overwhelming because there are so many different 3D printers for sale. Well, I have been 3D printing for three years now, and I am here to help you. The first question that you have to answer is, do you generally want to print something that is bigger than this hand or smaller than this hand? The reason being, certain 3D printers are really good for super small, super detailed stuff, whereas other printers are really good for bigger stuff that has less detail. If, for instance, you want to be printing miniatures, dices, keycaps, things like that, then you're probably going to want to go the route of a resin. 3D printer. Typically they're going to look something like this. They're going to take liquid resin as opposed to actual filament and they're going to give you much more detail than you would get with other printers. The problem is their build volume is usually pretty small so you're going to be more limited to tinier things. Most people tend to want an FDM 3D printer, something like this one behind me when they first get started. As long as you don't need super super tiny detailed stuff, this will probably get the job done 99% of the time for what you're going to need and it's going to allow you to print much bigger stuff. Now if you start really researching 3D printers, you're going to see all kinds of information from fanboys saying, absolutely never buy this printer. This one's awful. This one's the best. Neckbeards of 3D printing are going to get upset with me, but I'm just going to tell you for your purposes, they're basically all the same. The reality is 99% of the time when you first get a 3D printer, either you're going to try it for a couple weeks and then you're never going to pick it back up again, or you're going to be the type of person who absolutely falls in love with it. In which case you're probably going to end up buying more printers anyway, which means it really does not matter where you start as long as it generally works. And the good news in 2025, as opposed to when I started a couple years ago, is almost every entry-level printer out there is pretty decent nowadays. Basically, as long as you stick to the major brands and don't get some really weird like $50 3D printer off the TikTok shop, you're probably going to be in pretty good shape. This is in no order and definitely not a conclusive list of printers, but look for names like Bamboo, Creality, Snapmaker, Anycubic, Elegoo, Flashforge, and many, many more. And as tempting as it may be, I would actually recommend not getting a multicolor unit to start. Again, until you know that you're confidently going to be 3D printing, it just adds a layer of complexity that you really don't need in 99% of cases. My go-to recommendation for people first getting into 3D printing is either the Bamboo Labs A1 or the Bamboo Labs A1 Mini. With that said, my dad just decided to get into 3D printing and bought a Flash Forge Adventure out of nowhere, and he absolutely loves it. So again, you really cannot go wrong in 2025. Buy something that's somewhat decent, and for about $250, you are going to get so much usage and so much experience out of almost any of these machines. Do a little bit of research, but don't overthink it too much. And with that said, happy 3D printing.